Per no, se. conspiracy, bro. Oh, this is real? This is mm. real. Okay, Mark, just fill us in, please. Speaking of beef, the red heifers have been delivered to Israel. <laughs> Explain what that means. So basically, the Jews want to build a third temple. Third temple. The first one was... Uh, temple of David. Destroyed by the Babylonians. Fucking Babylonians. The next one destroyed by the Romans, I think, or Herod or some shit, 70 AD. Okay? Okay. It's been a long time. They want to rebuild a third one. That will basically usher in their Messiah. They don't, they don't have a Messiah yet, right? So, in order to build the temple, they need a red heifer. Can I ask you one question real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Their Messiah. Is that Jesus? Or supposed to be Jesus? No. Yeah. According to me. Yeah. But, but they need someone else to come through. Mm-hmm. And some Jews believe that uh, this guy, I forget his name, I think it's the Lubavitch Jews. Yeah. They believe that that guy's already showed up. Yeah, the, the rabbi. Yes. And he's going to come back. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. He has passed already, but yeah. they think he's going to come back. Yes. Yeah. That he was in like human form as the, as the Rebbe, and right. he's going to come back as the Messiah. Got but it. that's just one sect of Jews. Of ultra-Orthodox, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to, they believe in the death and reincarnation. Dick biters. <laughs> Yo, that's how you know Christ is king, son. Because you heard the story. What you gonna have Christmas next? What else y'all want? Y'all want Easter too? Fuck out of here, yo. Get yeah. your own story. Modernize. Get bro. your Come own on. story. Yo, turn yo. The nah, we're not doing turn that. Cheek, we're not doing Come that. Come on. Okay? So basically, they need a red heifer, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A red heifer is literally a red cow. Yes. And this is a cow that like has all these super specific things. And they need to sacrifice the heifer in order to basically do a ritual ceremony to then purify all the people building the temple and purify all the tools building the temple. Gotcha. And where are they going to build the temple? Great question, no one asked. They're going to build it on the <laughs> Temple Mount. Oh, no! And a fight, Sal! <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to punch you! Lights, Sal! That's basically Get it. Get your hands up! Oh, Go no. and get real! Oh, yeah. no! Because why is that <laughs> tricky? Because the Temple Mount is... Controlled and basically has a mosque on it and controlled by the Muslims in the Middle East. And it has been for a couple well, of years. Well, not in the Middle East. It's Jeez. in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem, But yeah. in, in, on the Palestinian side. Yeah. And I believe it's gone. It. I believe it's Al Aqsa, right? Yeah, exactly. So Al Aqsa. They want to take more land, bro. Yo, just one little son. thing. Son. One little Yo, thing. Give them thirty feet, bro. It's they so, need it's, to go thirty feet. They just want the north dude. So they even want the. Whole I'm thing. not gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna lie. When we were in, when we were in Jerusalem, bro, we went like underneath. Oh, sorry. We went like underneath. We went underneath. Um, the 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 the, the, the tunnel, tunnel, the tunnel, yeah, right? they 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 so that's where they learn. That's <laughs> yeah. where the Palestinians yeah. learn. Makes Fucked sense. up. Fuck yeah. around. Find out. It's an away game. You so, know? <laughs> yo, but uh, I remember us going and basically what they've done is um, in order to get your prayers up to God, the closest place to God, I believe, is in the prayer section of the Temple Mount. Mm -hmm. Right. So that is that is where God comes and answers all your prayers. That is my understanding. OK. Um, and I think that's why when you're at the Kotel, you know that the Wailing Wall where they put the little piece mm -hmm. of paper, like that's as close yeah. as they can get to the Temple Mount. So mm -hmm. you put your bit and you're like, okay, I'm pretty close. Maybe God is going to read the little paper through that. Yeah, thing. it's like dial up. Yes, yeah, dial up. Yeah. Exactly. But you want Ethernet. You want to be plugged in. Mm -hmm. So there is an underground passageway that they've been excavating, right? So you basically are going underneath and you're getting really close to the Temple Mount. Now, okay. they're not like directly under the Temple Mount, but you're like as close as they legally can. And I remember being under there and I was like, this is egregious, guys. <laughs> like, like, like you're really pushing it right now. Yeah. You're, it's like you can't go on top of the land to it, but they're going underneath. Yeah. It feels a little bit like you're like little sibling being like, not yeah. touching. I'm not yeah. touching. Yeah. I'm not yeah. Touching. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're bugging me though. Yes, yes, 100%. <laughs> Um, okay, okay, back to your story. So basically, not a story, it's the facts. Yes. Basically, they need a red heifer, and they need to combine the ashes of the red heifer with the previous nine red heifers, okay? The last red heifer to be sacrificed in this way was 2,000 years ago. So that's where things have left off. That's the prophecy, okay? But they need eight before that, right? No, no, no. They've already had nine. Accumulated. Okay. Yeah. They need to do one okay. more, okay? Now, this site is obviously important for everyone. It's important for Christians. It's important for Muslims, obviously. That's Why is where it important for Christians? I mean, I think it's just one. Jesus Sermon on the Mount, right? Basically, if they rebuild the temple, mm -hmm. evangelical Christians specifically, but I think generally all Christians, I guess, believe that that's when the Messiah will return, when Jesus comes back. So we're kind of, we're kind of like. So evangelicals are in on it. 
They want that shit to pop off. I think Sermon on the Mount so, is where Jesus said, turn the other cheek or whatever the fuck. Maybe. I shouldn't say fuck, my bad. But yeah, turn the other it's cheek. It's all good, bro. Forget, forget, yeah, forget. I'll turn the other cheek on that one. Yeah, yeah, say it again. Yeah, thanks, say it again, bro. Thanks, forget it. <laughs> you know what I mean? We yeah, good. Yeah. But like Muslims care about it because that's where uh, Muhammad prays be upon yo, him, yo, went yo, to heaven. Yo, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What? That, that, that's debatable, bro. I'm not going to debate that. I'm just saying it's debatable. <laughs> I don't fuck with Muslims, bro. That's debatable. I mean, I'll make fun obviously, of Jews. I'll make fun of Jews. I'll make fun of Christians. While we're on public record, I don't Muslims. make fun of Muslims. You're 100% right. <laughs> but what some people say is that Muhammad went there in a dream, that, that he himself never arrived at Al-Aqsa, but he went there in his dream. And you believe that? Well, I mean, that's what every Jew has ever told me. Now, the Muslims <laughs> would be like, now he pulled up, bro. He rolled up with the donkey. <laughs> you know, they was chilling in Yo, there. The gaslighting, dude. Son, the gaslighting. Gas gas it was a dream. Dude. It was a dream. Dude, but <laughs> how, what, how do we know? Who's right? Who's wrong? <laughs> it's so many years have passed. Yeah. You know what I mean? So <laughs> Who's telling the truth? <laughs> the side y'all afraid you, of seems like they, right? Which side? <laughs> I mean, you I'm afraid right. of all of them. <laughs> okay? It's the only the Christians I'm not afraid of. That's why Christians need to rule the world. <laughs> so that we can not live in fear. Okay? <laughs> We're afraid of all of them. So the red heifer has to be perfect, okay? It has to be perfect in its redness. Two hairs of any other color will disqualify it. Even mm. the hooves have to be red. Mm. It has to be three or four years old. Other Older animals uh, won't be able to be sacrificed uh, there can't be any kind of internal or external defect or blemish they can't have been yoked done any physical labor even had a person lean on it they can't even have had a blanket put on it so basically a couple of rabbis go to an evangelical texas uh rancher and it's basically like hey we need your help getting these red heifers now you need us they need five now you need us they get five of them. yeah yeah all perfect no blemishes they get sent over to israel now they're in israel right now they basically built the altar on the Mount of Olives where they're going to sacrifice the, the heifer. This is where it gets a little wild. Apparently, a Hamas spokesperson claims, this happened in 2022, a Hamas spokesperson claims that part of the reason that October 7th happened was because of the red heifers. I was like, there's no way that's true. I Googled it. Apparently, the dude was like, yeah, the red heifer thing. Was I like, mean, wow. how hard is it to be a Hamas spokesperson? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great. Mm. I mean, I feel like at this time you could just raise your hand yeah. and be like, "Yeah, I'm doing PR for Hamas." Yeah. But yeah. they could use the help. I mean, if anyone wants to pick up a PR job, that's probably a good one to take Easily. On, right? I mean, they can't do it. They're playing fucking Super Mario Bros. right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They are. They're, they're in the plumbing. <laughs> yeah. Aren't they? I guess. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you really want to get them out of there, you just start playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so. But yeah, so basically... They see it like, okay, if you get the red heifers here, that means you're trying to make a move on the Temple Mount. That means you're trying to take our shit. So we got to buck up and that's going to create more conflict. So as ridiculous as this seems maybe to us, these are all believers. They all so believe. So if you believe the prophecy and keep in mind, these are all Abrahamic religions. So the latest one has to believe the stuff before. Uh, so Muslims have to believe in Christians. Christians have to believe in Jews. Mm -hmm. Jews don't really have to believe in the future ones, but when they need some red heifers, <laughs> Who the fuck they come to? The fucking Who the fuck they come to? Texans, man. The boys! The boys! Texans, brother. Turbo! Turbo! <laughs> hey there, brother. <laughs> I've got some fat bitches from San Antonio for you, brother. <laughs> yeah, dude. So it's it's all heat. No, apparently they're going to sacrifice wow. the red heifer during Passover, which is in like a week. Like and then their Messiah it. will come. No, because they don't got the Temple Mount. It's going to start the end times. That the, Once they sacrifice the red heifer, then they can start getting the tools and the people to build the, and they want the, the end temple. times. Well, they want to get the Messiah popping. And he'll, but the Messiah is a messenger of death, it seems. No, I, this is salvation for the for the Jewish for the people. Jews, for the chosen ones. For the chosen. This is the end of the prophecy. They get to actually, you know, do whatever their prophecy says. Seems a little selfish. This is <laughs> stupid. That seems a little selfish. The Hindus are involved. How? Uh, They're sacrificing your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's right. <laughs> that red heifer. <laughs> That red hat yeah, could yeah, be yeah. related to you. Somewhere, no, right? I mean, maybe in like a thousand lives ago, but <laughs> I'm just saying there's, what, 15 million Jews? Do, You're going to end the whole world for 15 question? million of you? There's 8 billion people. Have Jews been known to be extremely considerate? That's what I think. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know I mean, like, this is like, hey, how is the temperature for you guys? We'll keep it there. Have you heard of Jews that before? <laughs> now, question, question. Yeah. With, within, because you guys believe in reincarnation, yeah. are you more uh, accepting of bestiality? Okay, so I can move on to the next part of this. That's a good question. So. I don't, I don't think so. But 
It happens. I mean, y'all got that. Y'all got that video of the guy getting fucked by the horse. But he does it for death. the love of the game, I think. Yeah, he's doing it for the horse. <laughs> like he doesn't feel good from that. He, he just died. thought the horse needed to get that off. <laughs> but, but, he didn't have confidence in his hand game, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hands. No, he got. But he's gay. He wants to get fucked in his ass by the biggest dick possible, so he goes horse. We don't know if he's dies. gay. Why are you assuming he's gay? Well, that's yeah, pretty what, gay. He, What's he fucked a horse. He fucked ass. a horse. That's not. Yeah, a horse is the horse. There's no gender. It's yeah, just horse. <laughs> no, no, that that horse had a gender. <laughs> no, but it's not no. a gender. That horse, horse. Had a gender. that horse might have been the first lady of France. We don't Al, know. Yeah. We don't know. Al, anything can you about moderate that here? We need yeah, a moderator. If it got a dick, it's <laughs> yeah. But thank nobody you. sees someone thank fucking you. an animal thank and goes, oh, "Is that a horse a male?" Leave it to black people. Yeah. Be like, yeah. "Whoa, that's disgusting." Yeah, gay guy. Yeah, gay guy. Get that big problem. Horse lady pussy, right? That's what he needs. Okay, so <laughs> but all they got to do is just lean up against his horse, and now you just disqualify all. These yeah, horses. you don't have to blow yeah. up. Yeah. Put a blanket on him. Yeah, exactly, it. but it's being guarded by the IDF. No way. Literally, it's being guarded within like a specific building. It's like being protected. The red heifers. Yes. What Four is going on in this world? I know this is stupid. I didn't believe I'm really sorry, any of this. I'll be religious honest. people, but this is. Stupid. They believe in drones and red heifers. <laughs> That's yeah. a kind of insane thing. That's a great point. Like, Great point. Like, why even go fight the war if you got the red heifers? Most sophisticated missile defense system in the world. Also, find me six red cows. Yeah. <laughs> it's one or the other. Yeah. If yeah. you truly believe. Whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, shit. Whoa. Talk that shit, Candace. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. No, because if you truly believe, you don't have a backup plan. That's the idea with faith. There was yeah. no backup plan when my boy was about to split his kid in half. Mm. What was his name? Isaac. Abraham. Isaac was about to chop his kid in half. No, Abraham was going to chop Isaac in half. Oh, yeah. Whatever that was. Yeah. You know. <laughs> and uh, he was about to split him in half, but there was no backup plan. There was like, oh, you know, what? but by the way, I don't know what the backup plan in that situation would be. How many kids did he have? One. That's right. And it was really hard for him and his wife to conceive. And then they finally conceived and he was mm -hmm. going to chop. Chopped that motherfucker in half. There was no backup plan. And then God was like, just kids. a dick. And then that was it. And then <laughs> it like, worked. Oh, <laughs> Fucking genius, that guy, man. Yeah, dude. But, I mean, Noah had a backup plan. That's Noah true. Pat, Noah had one plan. Well, it was like, you could die here or you get on the boat. But it wasn't backup. It was like, I know this thing is going to happen. I have so much faith that this thing is going to happen, so I have to build this boat. So maybe billions of dollars of missiles, is the that's the boat. <laughs> well, then, then, then you don't believe in the red heifers. Well, no, the red heifers are going to bring it in, but then you got to have the, the 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 ammo to back it up. They would say the millions of dollars, billions of dollars, or whatever, would protect the red heifers, so we can do this. Otherwise, got it, got it, got it. Got it's it, been two thousand years. Got bro. it, got it. I get it, I get it, I get it. It's Hamas animals. I get it, I get it, I get it. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Okay. okay. So evangelicals are on board with it. Jews so evangelicals and Jews are just fucking linked in. The, the the rancher that they found to get this was like, yeah, man, I feel like I'm doing my purpose right now. Wow. <laughs> That's hilarious. But it's really interesting because they're, it's mutually assured destruction of each other. Yeah. So the, the Christians are doing it because, yo, Jesus is coming back and he's killing all these Jews and anybody else and we're going to have it. And the Jews are doing it because they're like, our guy's coming and he's killing all these Christians, whatever. So they're both gambling. Yeah. Well, on the same thing, even right? Even would say, like, every knee will bend when they see the true light of Christ. So and what did you say? She was like, you guys are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! Oh, <man>. Amazing! <laughs> That's, I want to do this as, like, a dinner theater. I want to do medieval times, oh. but it's every different religion. You get to pick one, and then they play it all out. Oh. You're dead, and you're going to hell. You're not yeah. just dead. You're yeah. going to hell. Oh, well, well, some Jews don't believe in hell, I guess. I don't know. We oh, want to talk to the Jews. Yeah, I don't think they believe in it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's fine. So it's kind of that part's considerate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's hard way. enough this to be Jewish <laughs> that they don't feel like you should be tortured in the afterlife as well. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What the hell is just living as a Jewish person? On <laughs> just, just every second of every day, constantly analyzing everything just around discomfort. you. Discomfort. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh. Yeah. Yeah. And so there's one part of this. They have to mix the red heifer, the current sacrifice, with the other red heifers from 2,000 years ago. Mix them, meaning the ashes. They have ashes. to mix the ashes. And where do they find the ashes of the older ones? <sighs> they don't have. Psych. They're inside. <laughs> you I fucking got you so bad. You really thought that was it. You fucking idiot. Adorable. <laughs> yeah. That was adorable. It's called drama, Akash. That was so We'll edit it. We'll play awesome. Go, go, go. That was sick. Go, go, That go. was awesome. Where go. they found the Dead Sea Scrolls, they also found a clay pot 
full of ashes. Of red heifers? Of red heifers. There's no way that they could look at the biology and find out that they're red heifers. This is so fucked. Oh, how do we know it's not Jesus' ashes? Oh, oh, stop. Good, good, stop. No, this is how do we know it's they not found a, the ashes of a Baba red Ganoush <laughs> of a long time ago? Yo, if we look it up, it might be stop. some ash and plants. Real, stop, 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 stop. Wait, so we're just not going to look into it and just hope it's red heifers? Shh, shh, shh. And then we're going to mix it? They found the ashes of the red heifers in the Dead Holy Sea Scrolls. Fuck. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Holy fucking fuck. Out here, dude. Yo, can you can you Yo, answer something real I quick? Can on. you answer something real quick? <laughs> this what is, so is hey Alex? Can you fucking learn something? Yeah, okay, geez, I'm oh, we're the real Jews. You don't even listen hey, one time. I tell you, yeah, this is, this is, come on, listen. <laughs> okay. I, I am the lost tribe. <laughs> <laughs> right. That is true. Yeah, you guys are the, the late tribe. No, right. yeah. <laughs> the scrolls. What what are they? Uh, basically, it's, I think it's like the apocrypha. It's okay. basically like old What's gospels. That? It's like gospels that like talk about Jesus and the fucking. Jews. These are our books, or are these yeah, are Jew books, books, or these are Muzzy books? I think they're our books. Plus, I think it's I think it's Christian. Okay, so it's it's the good guys. You found the good guys. Yeah, the good guys. <laughs> you got the good. Guys. Okay, okay. Can I get a fact check? These, these um, oh, Shifty. We have one actual Christian in the room. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, can you tell us what the Dead Sea Scrolls are? Mic them up! <laughs> Mic them up! We're not silencing Christians on this podcast. Go. Pretty, I'm pretty sure it's just a collection of bo both books. It's like Jews and Christians. And it's like, because we both read some of the same books. That's what I would have to guess. And is it talking about Jesus? Yeah, I think some of them are Gospels. I'm pretty sure. And it's like the oldest one we ever found. I found it, brother. Oh, okay, brother, Forty percent of the copies are texts of Hebrew scriptures. Other thirty percent are texts from the Second Temple period, which were not canonized in the Hebrew Bible, like the Book of Enoch, Book of Jubilee, Book of Tobit, the Wisdom of Sirach, Psalms one fifty two through one fifty five. The remainder, thirty percent, are sectarian manuscripts of previously unknown documents that shed light on the rules and beliefs of the particular sect or groups within Greater Judaism, like Community Rule, Habakkuk, the Rule of Blessings, and the War Scroll. You're going to have to explain that again, brother. I, I understood that. maybe 50% of so, those okay, words, fine. brother. I thought that you was You said English. Tibet and Enoch, and oh, I just me, shut off, brother. Let me hit it I one more time. Cook. It's about 10% luck, 20% 15% concentrated power of will. There you go. It's just like scriptures and then... Uh, like, it's all Jewish, though. Well, no, because like Psalms and shit like that. Book of Enoch. I Enoch think. is Jewish, dog. Come on. Yeah. Enoch is like Mark's mom shit. Yeah. Enoch's like a completely different... Thing. Red pill? No, it's like a, it's like pre Bible. Don't they talk about aliens and shit? In yeah, your mom, we, me and your mom talked oh, about the Nephilim for a long time. Oh, that's the giants. The yeah. gi See, we're back on the giants. Dude. So I love giants. Yeah. They had giants back in the day. Yeah, okay. Did you? Yeah, yeah. We got Jinder Mahal. We, we doing it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. So, yeah. And then we, we had the, the, the eclipse on top of all that. Full totality over the town of Nineveh. Why does that matter? Because Nineveh is the place where Jonah went and was like, hey, it's going to be dark. After 40 days of darkness, judgment's going to come unless you all repent. Son, he could kill me now. You keep telling this story. I don't give oh, a fuck. Let judgment yeah. come. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'm locked in. Go on. <laughs> Go on. So basically, this one, I don't know as much about it. I don't really think this is, it makes as much sense. But basically, they're saying full totality across the United States over seven towns of Nineveh. Back in the Bible... Jonah went to the people of Nineveh and was like, hey, it's going to be dark tomorrow, and then you have 40 days from that moment to repent. If you don't repent, the day of judgment will be upon you. They all repented, and they were spared the day of judgment. But what you're saying is what happened yesterday was the exact same solar eclipse that happened back in the day. Holy shit. 